All right, uh, Warren head coach Cody Buck, uh, you just got through your uh, first live action, so as it were, uh, scrimmage on Saturday as the head man of the Warren Dragons. What did you see from your team? Uh, like I said, you know, we're, we're a very young football team. So the positives we saw, a lot of things we, we practiced during the week, we saw those translating over to the game. So still a lot of things that we need to clean up, but there was a lot of positive and encouraging signs. Uh, younger guys getting reps with the older guys and being able to step in, hold their own, which we're going to have to do this week against an Oil City football team. Uh, so let's get right into it. I mean, obviously you guys, Certainly not uh, an easy task right out of the gate. you got to take on a, an Oilers team. It was a playoff team a, a year ago. Obviously, they have a stud running back in, in Ethan Knox. Uh, how do you approach trying to shut down that potent Oilers running attack? Well, you know, it's, it, like we tell the kids all the time, we, we simplified the defense. So you do your 111th, you plug your gap, you do your assignment, good things are going to happen. And we're just doing that with the kids down here in film as we're reviewing, hey, when, when you free roam or you don't do what you're supposed to do, you gave up that running lane. You can't give up a running lane this week, whether it's to the fullback, to Pearsall, or to Knox or Sanchez, whoever's in the backfield. Uh, they're going to exploit it. Uh, they're coming downhill. They get to the second level very fast. So it's very important that we, we come downhill as well. We, we fill our gaps and, and we wrap up. And you talked about having a fairly young team. You're going to have to replace a, a lot of starters from a, a year ago. Again, how, how important are having these uh, you know, film sessions right after a live action to really point out Hey, this is where we need to. Oh, I think it's been imperative. Uh, you know, we did it over the summer. We did a lot of classroom settings. We call them chalk talks. So we brought the younger kids in. And hey, offensively, when we talk about zone or power run game, our passing concepts, this is what we're trying to do. And this is, you know, how we're trying to accomplish it. Just trying to get the, expedite the learning curve because we're going to have to do it. Um, but you know, these film sessions are, they're, they're great. There's a lot of questions being asked. The kids are taking notes and, you know, it started with the summer sessions and what the expectation was to come, come from these chalk talks and now translating over to, to week one. And now it's, as we said, the bolts are starting to fly now. Uh, how, uh, how important is it for you or how, how much of a blessing has it been for you uh, being a first year head coach here that you were able to maintain a lot of the assistance from the, the previous staff and, and kind of keep that consistency? From you? Well, I think, you know, on, on two phases, like the defense, it's, it's a new defense. Uh, so there's some terminology change, but letting the kids play fast. So, you know, during last week, I thought the defense was ahead of where the offense was, which kind of made me laugh because a lot of the terminology things we kept similar on the offensive side. We instituted at the junior high level last year. So just wanted to keep things familiar and let the kids kind of play fast offensively. Defensively, I was very, very happy with how quick they have adjusted and are playing to their assignments. Uh, and has anybody really kind of stood out to you uh through summer conditioning and the first week of camp that might be uh, surprising some folks come Friday night? Uh, there's a handful with these younger, <laughs> these younger kids. Uh, we stress them every day, attitude, effort, and emotion. Those three things you bring to practice, you bring to the game. I'm going to put the best 11 kids out there, and I don't care what grade it is. And Chase Myers, a freshman, has been able to step up. He's playing offense. Uh, wide receiver and defensive back for us. Patrick Ross, who was with us last year, but a kid every year that continues to work hard. You know, we're looking for him to make the jump playing at corner and his receiver as well, you know, trying to replace Colin Sheen, Caden Wright. Uh, a lot of weapons out there, especially over the last two years. Uh, so, you know, those are two kids, you know, in my group that I've seen, the, the interior line, which is very promising, a really strong freshman group. Is It's hard to tell these, these young kids, hey, what you're doing now is imp – it's impeccable to what you want to do down, down the road. You know, when you become a junior, the game's going to really slow down for you, but take these reps, learn and take every rep that you can. And, and how important is it when you're breaking in a lot of these young guys, uh, especially in the skill positions for them to have some, some veteran leadership uh, at quarterback and, and tailback? I think it's important. Uh, you know, I, I said last week on a couple of the Erie news interviews, like our leadership is going to take where this team goes. So the quicker those guys jive together and, and wrinkle lot up and, Hey, this is why we're doing this. Or, hey, this, this may be open, but we're setting it up because we're doing this. I know Eric and Tommy have done a good job of taking guys in their respective position groups under the wing. Ben Hoffman doing the same thing with the offensive line. Uh, but that started back in March when we opened up the weight room, building that rapport, seeing those kids of, Hey, this, this kid could be on my left. This kid could be on my right, getting to know him and building that bond. Um, but they've done a great job. Sam Harvey, another one, been in the weight room since the beginning of March, building that leadership uh, and the kids looking up to them. And so uh, what can people expect uh, if they come down to Oil City on Friday night when they see the uh, 2023 Dragons take the field? Uh, like I said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping for this young football team, it's going from, you know, we want to see from week one to week 10, we want to see growth growth with this young football team. Uh, but I hope the kids are fired up. You know, there's a lot of going to be ninth grade starters out there. Uh, so the, the, the jitters are going to be out there. But, I, you know, this week we're getting them out of the way, right? Uh, pressure is created by diamonds, right? It's, it's, so it's one of those sayings that we keep telling the kids, have fun with it. You guys have earned it. You got through two a days, you know. It's, now it's the next one. Now this is the fun part. Put the work in during the week. Have fun on Friday night. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. You make a mistake, do it 100 miles an hour. So. 
Uh, you talk about um, you got through the uh, first week of two days, and then I saw that you guys had your, yourselves a little draft at the end of the week. Explain a little bit about what that is and what you hope to accomplish with yeah. those. Yeah, things. so one of the things that we wanted to bring back is with the kids, it's, it's the pride within the program. And when you wear the worn jersey and the pride and the history that goes into it, so it's not just something that you get, you come down and you get it off the hanger and here you go, here's your shoot. No, it, you earn it. You earn your helmet decals, you earn all of that. So there's a couple more steps that are going to come with the draft. But yeah, we did like our own little NFL draft where the kids that made it through two days, we broke up our coaches and they did a little accountability draft. So throughout the season, both, both academically, athletically as a team, and then community service wise, they're going to earn points for their team. Um, so now there's a little competition, but also bringing these kids together of, you know, kids of all grades. Um, so first year we're doing it. We had a lot of, a lot of fun with it. Uh, we had Tim Giuliano, the voice of the dragons came in was our Roger Goodell. We all gave him a little boo as he walked up there. Uh, but I thought there was no better person as we talk about building the history and the, and the pride than for TJ to tell a little bit about the history of dragon football. All right, Cody. Yeah. Thanks so much for uh, taking some time with us and uh, good luck this season. Thanks, Brian.